Hello everyone! Last time on Pokemon Black 2, we made our way through the rest of that Flockacy Ranch woods area and discovered that Team Plasma is still around, though they look a little different. And Alder told us that we should go challenge the Asperta City Gym, who turns out to be our rival from the last game, Charon, having ditched his glasses, potentially in favor of contact lenses, and also he looks like he just narrowed his eyes at me and just like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you, beat them already, they're not hard trainers. So, turns our potential in me and made me a trainer in his gym, rather this gym. I like how you actually like walk away and then walk closer, that's uh, that's something you don't actually see off. Youngster Pedro flexing his Pokeball at us. Ah uh, yes, another Patrat to add on to the pile. I, I am kind of tempted just to see how many, um, Patrat Oshawott does just destroy throughout this playthrough, or rather the, uh, the entire Patrat family. Because I I kind of just want to know the counter on that. Can go for a tackle. All right. Seven damage, that's a little frightening. Well, then again, we do have a minus defense nature, so that's not great. Come on, freaking sliver! All right, defense is dropped. Go for the tackle, at least. At least we'll be able to recall Oshawott, get rid of that defense drop. And, of course, let's love Lillip. Oh, Lillipop, I don't want to have to hurt a Lillipop. I love Lillipop. It's so cute. But I must. Oshawott. Well, at least we didn't hit it in the face. We, well, we hit it in the face, we just didn't hit it in the mouth, so it's, it's still a little breathe. Though, I guess the wet dog smell wouldn't be too good afterwards. But again, Bulbop doesn't really have as much fur, so... Come on! Another freaking sliver! Hopefully when we get a level up, those slivers will no longer be a problem. I just want to spell, but you took no advantage of that and did not go for an attack, so let's go take you down. Such a cute Pokemon. 115 experience. Go to level 13. Three attack, yes! Focus energy, I think we will just take that because we're not going to use Water Sport at all. I'd rather use a move that might be helpful than a move that I know I'm never going to use. So, Pedro, you're strong, or should I say your Pokemon are strong? Well, I guess both of us could be strong. You can defeat the girl, too. You can challenge the gym leader. Yes, I'm aware. That's kind of how gym trainers work. Now I'll show you all the things I learned from Sharon. Well, if my past incarnation had anything to say about him, he was not that strong of a trainer. We whooped him all the time. Last Serena! Aren't you supposed to be in Kalos, preparing for Pokemon Showcases? This is what they're called in Kalos, right? I, that game is so forgettable, I can't remember half of the things that game. Like, I'm generally very good at remembering gym leader names, but I'm like... Blank. Blank. The person who's the sister of the camera girl from the reporter girl from the anime. Uh, the guy with the giant pair of scissors. Uh, creepy fairy girl with the terrifying as heck eyes. Like, I, I can't remember anything from that game. And it's like, that was, I mean, I did kind of beat that entire game. And I think it was a one, it was in one weekend. And it was sub 24 hours with the EXP share turned off for the vast majority of that game. And I think it was like I spent like four hours just looking for somewhere where it was raining for you. So like, that, that game was so easy and I did like just blast straight up that so that might be why I don't remember anything about the game just because I didn't have any time to really soak up anything because again, blasted straight through it. But I, I hope I don't blast straight through this game, which I feel like I will have a bit of difficulty with this game because I don't know it, and also the teams in this game I'm willing to bet are significantly stronger because Yanova's known for, you know, good team compositions, not, you know, the game where it is a complete joke and everyone is made of cardboard. That actually is one thing that someone did tell me a while back, and that was the AI in the Generation 6 games is the same as the AI from Black and White, and... Well, the black black and white, just Unova in general, and I just remember thinking, how is... It could just be team compositions, because, like, 
again, from black and white, a lot of those gym trainers and uh, not gym trainers, gym leaders and some of you know, the other just difficult NPCs to fight, they have really good and just kind of not I would say good, but they have some difficult type combinations, just some just some difficult Pokemon combinations to fight against so that might be what it was, but like again, I I can't see it because Oh, we give us five Orin Berries. That's actually really good. I guess we'll give one to Oshawott. Just, I cannot... I, I can't see it just when the game was that easy, and I have... Even th to this day, I have lost fights in Pokemon Black and White. Because, again, those trainers are hard. Just, those are hard fights. But, so we got our uh, fresh water from you, right? Run out of Pokemon that fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. That's a uh, good wisdom. Also, I like how the lights are actually on right now. But he was waiting for us, and he's getting impatient. Well, then again, I am an impatient person, so I can understand that. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. So let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. He's, I just noticed he's sweating in his portrait right there. Huh. Music is very, uh, black and white leader, but very different to I like it. It's very distinct, even though it is actually very similar, so I, I like it. Uh, I am, I believe anyway, tone deaf, or at least tone deaf to a certain degree, because I have a bit of music sometimes, but I can still appreciate music, so like, I may not be tone deaf, because I can that there are different tones in music, but, you know, I'm not good at saying, okay, well, that's, that tone is different than this tone. I can just say that, well, I know that tone's a little different. Uh, usual workup, so that's not good, but hopefully we can get some crits. Yes! Right when I say, can we get some crits, we get a crit! Which isn't that move, I see, you're a powerful opponent. Uh, so the tackle. Knackle tackle. Damn, that would have been a kill! Then again, it actually doesn't matter, mostly because you're gonna heal anyway. So, and do we go for the gun? Well, at least, actually, it probably could have been a good thing if he uh, used another potion. That would have been not, not bad, but. Level 14, and no plus 3 attack, but can't have plus 3 attack all the time. Lillipop, alright. Uh, I don't think I wanna re recall you because. I as a gym leader, I am through the wall for you to overcome. All right, this is awesome music going. Let's get the water gun. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, you didn't drop my defense. You boosted your attack, so I would have had no reason to recall. Yes, another crit is good. Work up, good. Come on, let's go for water gun. Go. How about the wet dogs now? And wow, those are actually both meaningful crits. Very nice. See, Oshawott's already coming around with those meaningful crits. This, this is what a real Pokemon battle is. Well, this is more like luck shenanigan haxing, but, you know. Graxing's fun. It's not as good as flinch haxing, though. The battle made me feel really glad that you're my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. So, uh, funny story. The first time I challenged Charon in the original failed recording... I lost, and I lost because I did not heal. I lost by, I think it was a few, like a few points of HP, and you know, there was another battle that I lost very early on in my first game that I played that I would have won had I actually healed. It's not quite as bad as that. But it's kind of close. Uh, we also got TM Workup, which is amazing. I, just, I like Workup because it's... I, it's a clone of growth, but without the... I think it's a... I think that in Sunlight, growth boosts both of your stats sharply, so it's a double boost, which is amazing. Just, I'm actually surprised there are no uh, VGC teams that use growth, because... Just a double boost, like a, a 
that's basically a nasty plot and swords dance. At the same time, I'm surprised that no teams have actually, like, come up with a strategy using it, because that just sounds really amazing. Hey! You are adorable. How is it? How'd your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? Oh, this is the basic badge. Wow, amazing. You just set off on your own journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer, I'm sure of it. This is for me. This is a DM for the move. Return! Return is a move that I'm pretty sure you would know very well, Bianca. The TM in our case. Pokemon knows return. The more it gets along with its trainer, the more powerful that move is. I might actually teach it to Oshawa soon. Still that Hey, the gang's almost all back together. Bianca, it's been two years, has it? So wait, you haven't spoken to her in two years. Wow, that's... Kind of jerkish on your part. I mean, like, you guys basically set on a life-changing journey together, and, like, after that, you just didn't keep in touch. I mean, you're a gym leader, and she's, like, the Pokemon professor's assistant. You, you should probably be able to get some good Pokemon research, so, like, that makes no sense. Well, what's up? Thought it would be a good idea to register each other in the X-Trans... You also entered the X-Trans Scossifier! What the heck, Sharon? Thank you, me with you, X-Trans Scossifier. But me too! Registered Professor Juniper for you too! Ashran Skarsfar is ringing. We're asking Skyar. Oh, hello, Maxis. I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me she's at the. Okay, why are the three of us on the call at the same time when we're all standing in the same spot? Like, this is like those people who go to dinner and just text one another from across the table. What the heck? Thanks to you, you know more about Pokemon. Okay, I know she's not there, but like, why do the three of us have to like, use separate extra and scars of ours when we're right here? Be able to get along even better. I'm Professor Juniper. Really interesting over here. So many Pokemon we couldn't prove. We were here two years ago. Uh, wow, yes. I feel like it's a good thing, Bianca, that more Pokemon are here. Back when it was just you know, it was amazing. Thank you for going that far. I'm Aaron, Bianca, and Sharon. Now you're enjoying being a gym leader. It's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. Gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners, yeah. <laughs> if you had your usual partners, you know, Mr. Level 65 giggle if you just stomped us into the ground. Having battles will come down to the wire. It'll make you a gym leader who deepens bonds with your challengers. Their Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Here's a new gym leader. I'm just a Pokemon professor. Max is a new trainer. We always have Pokemon by our sides. You know. That actually does bring me something I've always been wondering about. In Pokemon Platinum, we do see that... And also in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, we do see that gym leaders have multiple teams. That the teams that they use are... And I think that one of the Pokemon, I think it was Pokemon Origins, showed this where... Uh, Brock picked out two specific Pokemon. He said, I'll, uh, "If you only have one, you have no badges, so I'll use these two. Uh, so it does show that gym leaders do have teams dictated by the challengers' badge numbers. I've always thought, why did they never make a Pokemon game where the order in which you get the gym badges matters on what the battles are? Like maybe, okay, it's not drastically different teams. Maybe it's like, okay, well you have badges." You know, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and, you know, Epsilon. You know, missing you all some in between. You have Gym Leader Delta with Pokemon that are, say, three or four levels higher than what they normally would have been. And if you're, say, you know, fighting someone two or three, you know, three or four gyms after you should have, you know, normally in sort of the rotation fought them, they would have maybe, like, ten or so levels and, you know, like, maybe evolved versions. I always just thought, why did they never do that? Because you kind of could very easily do that with... I mean, you would have to kind of structure the region and the story in a certain way that you have access to all these areas all at once. So you can't do the sort of traditional Pokemon thing of you are basically funneled down a linear pathway even though it's a twisting and turning pathway where you sort of weave in and out of various areas, you're still basically going along a single pathway with little deviation here and there. 
So I just thought maybe if they made a game like that, that would be really interesting. Because I get that in uh, original Kanto, you could fight gym leaders in different orders, but it had no bearing on what the gym leaders teams actually were. You know, you could say, like, you could skip, I think, like, Lieutenant Surge and just go straight for, like, Koga and then just surf right from there and, you know, Lieutenant Surge's team would not change. And I always thought it was kind of just, like, a wasted potential. I mean, I get that they couldn't realistically do that in the main games, probably, but I'm surprised that, like, no fan-made Pokemon game in there, because there's a lot of fan Pokemon games. And then again, like, they do have fan Pokemon that are shut down, so... Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but hey. I've always thought that it was just an interesting concept. Because again, you have seen multiple games and just multiple parts of the Pokemon series reference gym leaders having different Pokemon for different trainers. And also, like, the trainer, the Pokemon that the gym leaders have is not, you know, their only Pokemon. You know, as Sharon just said, if I had my usual partners, those were his, you know, original Pokemon from his first journey on Unova. He probably has those somewhere and probably still uses them for battling. And... Yeah, I... I'd love to face that team again. Not, not mostly because, like, I thought his old team was challenging, but just mostly because I just love Gigalith. I, I love seeing the Pokemon. It's just... It's just, just a great Pokemon. Just... Love Gigala. Just, it's one of those Pokemon that, no matter how many times I see it, I just still think this is one of the greatest Pokemon Unova has ever made. And yes, that is from a person who loves Unova out of all the regions. Just, I love it. But we do have the Sea Gear, which we're not going to be using. But let us get going. And also, did uh, I check to see if Yulba picked up an item? But no, let's see, it's uh. What is your item? Ultra Ball! What? You are a lucky, lucky Lillipop! I should call you a Luckapop right there. Yeah, I, I. You know what? I'm saving. I do not want something stupid to happen. I mean, my battery is fully charged, I am plugged in right now. I do not want to risk anything happening because that is an amazing find right now. Jeez, Lilith, you are amazing. So I'm, I, I'm fully healed, right? I think I have to heal, definitely. Yeah, I, I was just inside the thing. What the heck? How did I not even notice it? I'm, I'm I am unobservant. I are totally smirt. But let us get going. And is all this still up there? Is that all they're up there? Is that? Is that him? Is he watching us? No, I can't tell. Not. Right, well, let's... We can't tell if it's all or not. Wait, wait you can just go over here. Is that it? No! Yeah, you can... Why? Why can we... That makes no sense. No, okay, I don't think it's all there is from this tree. Uh, so we can head here. Now. Let's see if Alder actually has anything for us to do now. That's an awesome looking house. Oh, you want a gym badge? That's a result of your understanding of your Pokemon and bring out their power. Alright, so. Well, that's like a house you have, but like, where's your bed? Where's your bed? Also. Nice shelf. That is an interesting way of storing Pokeballs, and honestly, I think that might be just a more practical way of storing Pokeballs than actually having them on the bottom, because it doesn't look like the bottom is flat on Pokeballs. They look like they are perfect spheres or just spheroids. So having them basically be resting on that seam, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, do you have to say a thing? You see plus, so like a few rand, for the fried your time, the only Pokemon, yep. Hey, all right, this is where you give me the habitat function because why was that not pre-installed? Uh, you know, that makes no sense. You know, not giving me a complete version of your phone app content. <sighs> Pokedex is how I hate me so much. No! I have a tip for you. When you're walking down the path, you see rustling grass. If you go to those spots, well, I'll let the rest be those Why are you having so many hiccups? Jeez, playing with Pokedex will make the world bigger so many different places than we make different Pokemon. See you! 
Okay, so now we have access to the Phenomena Encounters. Hopefully... Uh, I wonder if any of those are good Pokemon right now. Oh, no, not a Phenomena Encounter. Oop. P-Dub. You would be helpful against... And again, you have... You have garbage just everything. But... We are going to eventually need a Pokemon to fly, so I guess that there's really no harm in catching you, so... Let's just catch you. Well... Yeah, we can do a little more content today. Go yeah, Gust. Disgusting. Uh, you're level 2, Peter. How do you not stay caught? Wow, I just peeked my mic. Come on, you were... Why are you so hard to catch? You stupid little P-Dub. Like... I kind of like P-Dub more than uh, some of the other Pokemon. Some of the other uh, regional birds. Like, I like Noctowl the most of all the regional birds, just in design, because I love owls. I think they're awesome. But... I kind of like P-Dub, if only because I like what Unfez looks like, at least in the male form with that mask. That's really cool. I was like, I, that's why I, I do like two can cans. Well, and also Star Raptor. It's like, it's really Star Raptor. But, I, I guess, I guess I don't like Unpheasant the most of them. Like, I, I like it a bit, but it's kind of like in the middle of the list. It just, owls are better. I, I wish there were more owl Pokemon. What the heck? You've taken, like, three Pokeballs to catch. And you're a P-Dub. What the heck? Four Pokeballs, actually, now five at bare minimum. And also, my throat. I have expected a thing to break out and me just, like, to just spit take all over my computer. A tiny pigeon Pokemon. It's very forgetful Pokemon and will wait for more from a trainer even though it already has one. That sounds like me. <laughs> that is a Pokemon that I can relate to. Uh. It's kind of pathetic, but it's true. Let's see what you have. Rash, teacher. That is... Well, at least you might have something... At least you can somewhat take advantage of that special attack now, because we have some special attack teacher. But... And nope, you're gonna still be a gate pass. Uh, like, the leaming thing is a basic badge. Don't get a swell head. It's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show ya. Now I'll show you. You have a very chubby face. I got Jerome. Please insert that Emperor Palpatine. Let the hate flow through you. Sound bite right now as I do what I'm about to do. No, no! Don't kill my fine. Don't kill my fine. How dare you do that? How dare you! <laughs> and, well, at the very least, you did supply me with a decent amount of experience. I'm pretty sure that you give it. I think you give attacking EVs? Why was I so conceited to think I could show you anything? Well, it could have something to do with the Pokemon you're using. Sorry. Alright, I'm Pete. Depend with Pokemon like that, even a kid like you can hold- Is it illegal to have Pokemon attack trainers? You already said, how could you be so conceited, and then you just still are conceited again. Well, we have a bit of a gauntlet of trainers up ahead, so I think for now we're gonna call it an episode and then resume. Well, well, we'll have the next episode continuing right here. Thank you guys.